Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today I want to talk to you guys about something that hit the market. I got a sample of it and you're going to want to see it. So stick around. We'll be right back after, well, all these people I support. Be back. All right, so we're back here and I want to talk to you guys about something I know you've heard about. This is the Impulse Air. This is the IA-1200 modular moderator. And what I mean by that, I mean, check it out. We can take off this end cap and we can add another moderation part. The YouTube, I want to explain something. I'm not disassembling a gun. We're just talking about a moderator. So, be easy. But all of these different pieces actually unlock from each other all the way down the moderator. Whoops, there we go. And then they can all come together. You can actually get different colors for these as well. But that's not the exciting part. I want to talk about the most exciting part about this moderator. It's quiet, but something even better than that. It doesn't weigh anything. It's super light. It is incredibly light. Why is that a big deal? Well, I'm about to tell you because I brought the impact out to the range today to start shooting 40 great slugs. And you know what? Hang on a second. We're going to pause this video for a second so I can put this on the end of the air gun. We'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, we're back. And as you can see, the moderator's on the end of the air gun. Had to do that off camera so that YouTube doesn't ding me for modifying an air gun. Don't ask. But anyway, this is what I found, and it's going to really be an actual game changer, okay? So, my zero stop was set at 50 yards. And when I replaced the moderator that I normally use with this moderator, I had to readjust my zero stop till the scope bottomed out and I still didn't have enough MOA to, to bring the gun to shooting normal. Now, this is with a 40 grain slug. So why am I talking about this? Because the moderator that I've had on the gun before weighs so much that the amount of barrel droop that comes from that moderator directly impacts where my shots are downrange. Now, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But what I am saying is, is that this year moderator is just as quiet, weighs a fraction of the weight, and keeps my barrel from drooping and sagging. Is that important? Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely it is. So what I'm finding is now I'm gonna need to take the MLA out of my FX No Limits to be able to bring my zero stop on my Element Titan to be able to with a 40 grain slug. Now, let's talk about this. What I'm saying is, is that right now, down at 50 yards, if I aim here, my slugs are hitting here. And that's a, about an actual representation. They're hitting about three inches high. Now, when you rotate your turret down, 
right? Not up, down. Your reticle actually raises up. And when you want to go up, your reticle actually goes down. So look through your scope without moving it. See what I mean? So what I'm saying is, is all the way down, I'm still shooting three inches high on my target. So I need more down elevation, which the only way to do that with this is to actually take the MOA out of this little gap that you see right here. Now this rail's 20 MOA. Does that concern me? No, not yet. But what I may have to do is add reverse MOA to this to get this zero stop to zero and the scope to actually sit lower. I hope that's not the case. I don't think it's gonna be the case. And shooting out to 100 yards, I mean, anything past 50, no problem. It's just the 50 yard, it's getting a little close. So I hope that matters. But that's all because there's no added weight to the end of this barrel. I'm seeing really nice groups down here. Um, I did just tune the gun, a basic tune. I haven't fine tuned, but the results that I'm getting down range with this impulse moderator, knocking it out of the woods. Absolutely out of the woods. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I was shooting down at um, about 140 yards into the um, berm on the back there um, and uh, just shooting it like rocks, you know, or indents and uh, even at 140 yards, knocking it out of the ballpark. I mean, seriously, just crazy. So am I impressed? Absolutely. Is it quiet? Absolutely. We're going to show you just how quiet and uh, we're going to go ahead and set up our decibel meter. Now, I'm going to set this mode to um, record max. And I'm going to yell bang and see what it records. Bang! 112 decibels. All right, that was just me yelling bang. So let's go ahead and change the mode back to max. We're going to set this out here, right in front of the barrel. And shoot around. One oh one point two. Back here behind the gun. Go ahead and record one behind the gun. So that was literally right in front of the barrel, just sitting down below it. Let's record one down here behind the barrel. 94.4. So I can tell you that that's pretty good. Back here, uh, let's even go further back just to give you a, a reading behind the gun. Now the mechanics of the gun are going to make noise as well, so let's just try that. Oh, I didn't have it set to max mode. Sorry guys. Let me do that one more time. Eighty-nine back behind the gun. And I think the majority of that noise is probably coming from the mechanics in the gun itself. Um, but either way, that's a uh, that's pretty darn good for sure. I mean, just sitting here and talking at a low, you know, voice is 81, 82, you know, I mean, just sitting here chatting. So um, really pretty, I mean, really pretty good to be honest with you. Um, you know, like I said, the majority of the noise is obviously going out the front, but even more so than that, like I said, getting rid of that barrel droop that's not good stuff. Um, you know, having a lighter moderator by far is, uh, is ticket. It's key for sure. Um, 
And like I said, that's that's quiet. That's quiet. So with that being said, I appreciate it. You can check out these guys online. Um, there'll be a link in the description below, um, as well as uh, you know other information. But uh, made in the USA. I mean, can't beat that. Totally modular. You can get different colored uh, baffles to uh, put in it, or modular pieces. I don't know what they call them. Um, but you can get the different colors. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get some different colors um, just to kind of flash mine out. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see, maybe. But uh, either way, seriously, I mean, this is, you know, I've been messing with this thing for a couple of days. This is my first day shooting it. Um, but honestly, I think this is going to be my new go-to. I mean, this is, it's quiet. And like I said, the part that I like the best, and I hope that you guys grasp this, what I'm saying, is getting rid of that barrel droop. Man, lightweight is ticket. It is. It's getting rid of that barrel droop really makes a world of difference. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns Michigan. This is the Impulse Air Moderator. And you can check them out right now. So until next time, be good to each other. And God bless.